Hi, my name is Speech the Bell and I'm a rapper. I have an album uh, out now, it's called Speech Therapy. Um, I called this album Speech Therapy because it's a concept album. So um, it, the, the, the concept of it is that if I was in a therapy session, these would be the things I'd be talking about. So, um, you know, the songs are very, you know, close to my heart and quite personal. But uh, I've realised, like, since people's, you know, been hearing the songs and the response has been that, you know, things that you think are really personal to you and it's just like, you know, you kind of get a bit clouded and think you're the, the, the only person feeling that at that time when the truth is that the songs, um, you know, you, you talk about love, then that's a human, it's a basic human instinct, um, love, pain, um, ambition, um, you know, wanting to achieve more. So I think even though it is a, a, a personal album, the subject matter is very much you know, it's, 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 it's people talking about things that, you know, affect me, you know, day to day, year to year. Cause it was, it was a long time in the making. Um, I wrote most of the songs when I was about, you know, 18, 19, 20, um, up to 23. So, you know, it's a long period of time to, to be writing about. And it's also very much a sort of a coming of age, leaving your, teenage years and, and going into to adulthood so you know becoming a woman I think writing an album at that time was probably um, I think it probably benefited the subject matter this the first single is called the key it's produced by platonic lab he's a producer in Australia probably one of the best producers I've ever worked with and um, will definitely work with him again and the video uh, is directed by Anthony Dickinson, um, strong name. <laughs> we we did the studio some at you know at my house. Um, we went to my friend's restaurant in Brixton, and we also went to the uh, studio that we rehearse at, and that I done some I done most of the vocals to the album Alaska Studios in uh, Waterloo. Um, and we kind of just it started about nine o'clock in the morning, and the actual the way that the video looks when you watch it is the sequence in, in, in which we did it. We, we start, that, that's the place we started and um, we ended with uh, my family over, um, all of us, you know, eating and, and, and playing computer games. So I think for me that's really what stands out to me the most about that video is the fact that I watch it and I'm like, wow, this is, you know, this is actually how I spent the day. It's not how I spend all my days. It's not that... <laughs> There's not that much activity, but it is actually how how, how we spend the day, and it's, it's really nice. And um, my grand's in that video as well, which is really special. She's actually who I got the name Debel from. Uh, I had speech for a while, and um, basically, Arrested Development, the lead singer is called Speech, and and two things that you you shouldn't do as an artist is have the same name as somebody else or change your name um so it's kind of like well before you know you know we get we get started with this i'm gonna have to have a new name so i, I played around with, with different names but i really wanted to keep speech i didn't want to change that i've been speech for so many years you know what i mean like that's me so um yeah thinking about it and i thought oh my gran um She's a fashion designer, and her clothing line is called Madame de Bells, um, which is a, a change of pronunciation of her surname, Debel. So I said, it's Speech de Bell. Speech de Bell, actually. That kind of, it's got a ring to it. So, yeah, that's, that's how I came to be Speech de Bell. Everything I feel is who I am 
A woman with nothing's ruined yet I got a half cup of hope and I'm sipping slow No more standing on that road, that is old I got no time for time, wasting time is precious I only got time for studio sessions now Yeah, the um, the, the single I have coming out is Better Days I'm really excited about this one because I think this is on the album, it's quite an emotive album, but I wanted something a bit, a little bit harder, um, something that represented the straight hip hop side of me, and this this song I think does it so well. It's also produced by Petoni Lab, um, you know, recorded. He he gave me the beat to that. He already had it, and I, I went back to where I was staying, wrote the song, um, and I had a chorus as well. Laid that down, but I. The, the, the chorus I felt like needed to be a singer. We sent it to M Mickey Chu's um, label and just to see if she was interested. She was, and it was either a, a case of, so should we send her the song with, with my one on there so she can replicate that, or should she do her own chorus? And we kind of just agreed that as artists, it'd be good to have your own. Um, say in a song, you know what I mean, your your take on, on, on the subject. So she recorded the chorus on there and I think what's really brilliant about what she did is it's really good to work with an artist on a song and especially on the chorus, the chorus needs to encapsulate the song, you know, in, in, in eight bars. It needs to be a very shorthand, um, precise, you know, um, replication of what you're saying on, on, on the whole track and I think she did that. She you know, she definitely listened to it and, and got where I was coming from and you know her her voice is brilliant. It's it's quite it's quite haunting to a certain extent but in a brilliant way. And especially the subject matter as well, those two things, her voice and the subject matter I think I think to me I, I couldn't have had somebody um, better on the track. The live shows, you all come to the live shows. I had so much fun doing that. Me and the boys loved the, the, the live shows. The, the, the boys are the therapists, my band. Um, I usually say, this ain't a show, this a meeting. You know what I mean? Because that's what I think that's what the songs are for me and that's what I want the songs to be for other people. So a song like Go Then Buy, we need to we need to all be saying that. Golden, 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 bye. <laughs> and you know, see the fun of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing the next album. Like as soon as this one was finished, I was like, okay, when do you start the next one? Um, you know, forgetting about all the promotion and stuff like that. But it was just really therapeutic and being an artist, you know. I don't know if it's safe for everybody, but being in the studio making music is, is one of my favourite things to do. And um, being able to make an album after you know so many years of, of being in the studio, you know, making beats, writing songs, and um, you know having having kind of jobs I didn't want to do, and not really finishing anything. I didn't really finish stuff, and I got to uh, I got to this point and, and made an album, and it's probably. Um, my greatest achievement. I hope that I can have more achievements like this. I think I, I've set, I've set, I've set a, definitely set a bar for myself. But I'm looking forward to making another album, which will be a continuation of this one. Like people thought, how are you going to follow up from this album? Because it was written over, you know, a long period of time, and the next one won't be. 
to how you're going to fit all those things in, those sort of, you know, those ideas and stuff. But I think this album is a good, um, it's a good foundation, you know, and you just build on top of it. It's going to be, I don't think it will be a challenge. I think I'm looking forward to, to telling the next, you know, the, the next chapter.